tell us about the time you guys put maggots in boys in the wells van. Whoa, that's going back. <laughs> it didn't really it didn't really I don't know if that was the result of something else. We didn't intentionally put maggots that like in their van. Prank wars that we were doing? Yeah, was like, it was <laughs> Oh my goodness, that was a long I time. I mean that ago. was it must have been two thousand and Is that Catones? One, two, maybe. Um, we didn't put maggots in there, man. We put a, we found a, like a, a dumpster that had like a bunch of like black garbage bags in it. And I think we put the garbage bag in their van. The garbage bag happened to have maggots and stuff. Oh, man. It. Story got around, huh? So it wasn't really like we meant to do that. We just wanted it to smell bad. <laughs> Unfortunately, that had an infestation. It's a side effect. <laughs> and this was in early 2000, you said? 2001, two. Yeah, it was maybe like 2002. near the beginning. Yeah. Are there moments during that era that still stick out to you today, 16 years later? Oh, when you say it like that. Um, <laughs> Just a quick progression, really. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if... I mean, my memory kind of sucks, but... Yeah, same here. Just, um, the Hellfest 2001 was cool. That was a moment. That was, that was a great moment. That was, that, was, that was really cool. What happened at Hellfest? I think it was just so. Was that like a first experience with a like a really big, big show? Fest crowd yeah, and like, but then seeing people who were actually there who actually like knew us, who knew our songs so and stuff. Was, we did. Yeah. I mean, yeah, we haven't been out that long at the time, so. Yeah, and it was also, yeah, it was it, it was seeing people who like knew the words and stuff, and and were really like psyched to see us um, outside of like Long Island and New Jersey. Yeah, you know, it was, yeah. it was it was a few hours away. It was like five or six hours away. So it was, the word is spread. Yeah, it was that was <laughs> that was I think a really cool uh, you know kind of standout moment for me at least. Yeah, at the beginning, yeah, certainly. Were there some early DIY shows that are standout? Maybe shows with Glass Jaw or Brand New back in the day. Um, Ground Zero. Yeah, Those there's some great ones. Yeah, there was a Long Island. like a little club <laughs> on Long Island. I mean, it's long gone. It's a little sure. ratty bar. Yeah, it was just amazing. a little bar, but they had in the best sense. They had um, hardcore shows all, all, like all the time, and uh, and it was kind of like you know. I mean, well, I think that I think they gave there. us our start to like play like all the time, and it just we saw like the build yeah. up, the progression and, a bit, and like yeah, it was, we, we played there with watch it. I, I can't remember any bands, but uh, <laughs> sorry. Uh, I love you all. I don't think, uh, with with any of those bands, um, we played a lot with Sky Came Falling. We played oh, a lot with yeah. like. Uh, we never did Clash or I don't brand think new. We, I mean, we played with them in diff, you know bigger festival festivals things and stuff. And, yeah. and stuff but right. um, we did a lot with Take Back Sunday. That's yeah, we did a lot. As far as Long Island bands go, yeah. As far you know, yeah, definitely with Take Back Sunday, we did a lot of that early stuff. We did. One of one of their first tours, right. I think we we did, and uh, it was um, it was it was one of their first tours when they started to get big, mm -hmm. and um, it was uh, us and Take Back Sunday and, and Open Hand, and they were from Orange County. Right. Oh yeah, um, and uh, oh, and on the very first show, Coheed opened the show, which was interesting. Oh, oh right, right, right. <laughs> That's crazy. That was that was a fun show. Do you remember a tipping point in which the band just exploded? Um, y yes. Or, or when we realized that things got... I remember it was Hellfest the following year. Okay. Yeah, there was always those festival moments where it's like, wow. Like, no, you know, when we come on, no one's scattered and going away. Like, there are, like, a lot of people staying there and, like, ready to watch us. And then you see mm -hmm. them singing and, then, you know, it's... Uh, yeah, no, Hellfest was early on. Was always like her. It was like, a good. It was a good, a good indicator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, I don't know yeah. if there was. Yeah, I mean, aside from things like that, if there was any like one specific moment where it was like, oh wow, this is this is doing really well. Mm -hmm. um, because when you're kind of doing it, when you're in it, it doesn't really seem like it's like when you listen to your own music. It never. It's it never is kind of. It's like hearing your own voice. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely weird. You know, that's what. It's, and that so it's kind of like. Deeper. <laughs> um, it's a lot deeper. But uh, yeah, I think that was it. You're, you're kind of just on the inside looking out. Yeah. And and it just kind of seems natural at the time. It just it, I think it was just that like every tour just seeing more people showing up and I mean yes. Yeah. I mean, definitely within like the the middle towards the end of the first record being out and going into recording the second one. Mm -hmm. um, I mean. It's pretty quick, which yeah. is awesome. Yeah. 
Yeah. And this was at a time prior to social media. Yes. So how <laughs> how does it feel now reemerging in a world that's Instagram and Twitter and Facebook and we don't know how to do it very well. Um, I post a picture on Instagram every day and hope for the best. Hopefully I don't mess it up. <laughs> and uh, I, yeah, I mean, I don't have Facebook. I, 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 I don't know. I yeah. mean, it, it's it's great. I mean, seeing because that since everyone else has it, seeing them post stuff. You know, they were at the show and like we're kind of looking yeah. through. Like, oh my god, yeah. they have great videos of us playing. And it's like great to hear like what we sounded like. Yeah, know? yeah. So. It's, it's a good way to critique yourself. You can look, you can look yeah. at the nights, the night before performance. Exactly. Do you think it's an important tool for bands, or is it even necessary? I think now in in this era, it's it's totally necessary. Okay. Um, I think everyone's just. Because it's just the way it's it. done now. And right. that's how they find you. That's how they socialize. That's how they're like, hey, I was at from on National Show last night. You know. Yeah, I think. Just, I, I don't. Mean, I don't necessarily think it's necessary for us mm-hmm. so much. No. Um, but if you're, you know, like a like a if you were a new band, I mean, I, I can't think of how else you would you would do it. I mean, the, when when we were starting, it was just <laughs> get in a van, book a bunch of shows until you. Until you run out of money or something, you know, and then you, you just do it and you I mean, go back a bunch of times. Handed out free demos to everyone that we saw at shows, and that's how it kind of went. But so it's a lot easier now. So many different uh, sites where you can post your songs and spread the word. Totally. So I mean, it's definitely important. If you were starting a brand new band today, um, say get involved. If you were to start a band called Get Involved, how would you do it all over again? Um, Using social media, <coughs> I would probably ask someone who was really good at it how to, to how to do it. Hire <laughs> <'Cause>, somebody. <laughs> well, no, I, mean, I, I would probably just ask someone much younger than me. Um, but uh, I don't know. I, uh, yeah, I, I really, I have really no good answer for that. I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm I, terrible I, at it too. It's no, okay. yeah, I, I just don't know. Not what, that we're clueless, but it's like we're. No, I, I know the mechanics of it. Yeah, I just, just know that there's getting your advertising yourself and getting your name. I mean, yeah. Uh, I mean, people need to be interested. I think in the first place, right? A little bit, at least, mm-hmm. enough to it to at least go and look at it. You know, totally. But like I said, I don't, I don't know. I mean, going back to it, what you asked before. I mean, we literally had like a 16 year old. At our show the other night, yes. who happened to listen here us on Spotify? Yeah, like oh, that's didn't how have an older you. brother, didn't have an older sister, didn't hear us that way. They like, happened to hear us on Spotify, and she came out. Like, yeah. I, oh, yeah. Stuff so like her, that, that, you know, she, yeah. So it's she, important. she and a, and a friend who was like, I think they were like sixteen or seventeen, but they they were like, they were like, yeah, no, we just it just popped up and uh, we kind of listened to it. You know, I think every show there's like that one that little group or something that. There's been a here, there's yeah. been a sprinkling of, of younger people who were definitely too young to so they're like two years she was like two years old when you guys yeah. started wow, that's surprising wow. <laughs> you, you you mentioned Coheed and taking back Sunday and those bands are you surprised by their longevity looking back on on their career um I'm I I admire it uh-huh. um I'll oh, pick <laughs> I, mean, I don't. I don't know if I'm surprised. Yeah. I mean, those are those are also bands that didn't necessarily. Although they were part of a certain kind of genre, mm-hmm. um, they didn't necessarily sound like. You know, especially Coheed certainly didn't sound right. like anyone else. Right. Um, so I think that was. You know, I think when you're the band or bands who um, who actually maybe start something and and, and are truly unique. I think you have a much better shot at longevity than being the copycat band. Right. I think. Um, But I'm not surprised. They're both really good good at what they do. Mm -hmm. Um, And, you know, they they both write excellent songs. Yeah, write excellent excellent songs. And then just their shows are like great, great stage bands. And they continue to put out good music. Mm -hmm. And I think that's probably the key to longevity anyway, is just to to keep doing it and and keep, keep kind of producing you know, really right. excellent music. Did you feel this way about Kohi when you saw them play at, at Ground Zero? Was it Ground Zero that you saw them play? Oh, no, that was... Uh, I, maybe they may have played there. I don't know. Um, yeah, I, I, I loved Kohi from the very first oh, yeah. 
second I heard them. Um, okay. So I'm definitely not shocked of their. Yeah, I mean, I, no, and it's they amazing just amazing to watch them every night. Like amazing musicians. And yeah. Like, yeah it, was, it was it was unreal, but. And, and and they also kind of grew with their s- success. You know, they right. became more pro and more polished, and and you know, and now it's they're they're a real band. You know, like right. A, so how does it feel now to revisit all these old songs? I mean, he, the band uh, went on hiatus like seven years ago. So is, is, it, is it refreshing? Does it feel better? Do the songs take on new meanings? We were definitely shocked that our first practice we got through all of them. Or yeah, at least a lot of them, yeah. Because we had planned on, uh, we were like, okay, well, let's just play, we'll learn like four songs. Uh-huh. Yeah, you know, yeah. we'll just get in there yeah, and play four songs and then we'll learn the rest. Okay. And we got in there and we ended up playing those four songs and I think like, let's keep going. We just kept going. We ended, <laughs> I mean it was it was pretty rough, but we right. got through like fourteen songs or something like that the very first day. Oh wow. Um, no song I didn't even there was no way that I kind of actively remembered it, but it's a lot of muscle memory right, I think right, right. and you just it all kinda of comes back to you. Yeah. Then, um yeah. but I I think we play we actually play them better now than we ever have. Yeah. Oh okay. I mean, uh, yeah, I think I don't know, we're older, we're better players, we're, you know, it's just more experience. Mm-hmm. A little too old to run around as much. So That's kind true, of like, yeah, it's a lot, yeah, it's a lot less, a lot <laughs> less, uh... Get those correct notes. A right, 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 yeah. But, um, yeah, I think it was, it's, yeah. Pretty, it's pretty cool to see, like, I mean, I can say, I mean, we didn't even really get together before this We didn't, one, we didn't like, rehearse at all we before this. Go, yeah. Wow. We had a sound first sound check, got through it, and, you know... Hey, that's the best way to yeah. do it. That's why, it's like, we're... I don't think we're really worried about us, you know, how we're going to sound at this point. Just Have you worked... Sorry to cut you off. No. Have you worked on any new material? No. Um, we're... <laughs> we're not opposed to doing that. It's mm-hmm. just not something we've even thought of, really, you know? Okay. Um, I think um, we're, yeah, we're hitting these pieces of the country, you know. Doing a little bit of that. I mean, yeah, like you said, we're... If it comes up, you know, we'll we'll get together. It's not only we're like rushing into doing anything like that, but um, we're just having a blast, just coming back to these cities we haven't been in how many years. So cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's kind of cool, just like hanging out with your old friends. You know, yeah. it's like we we didn't really hang out a lot in, in between. I mean, you know, right. we, we talk every now and again and see each other every you know. Everyone's doing their own thing. Yeah, yeah. totally. Um, so it's kind of it's kind of cool to. Uh, I don't want to say pretend that you're 22 again, but but, to, <laughs> but it feels like you're 22 right. again to kind of like just I don't know be be around without and, quitting jobs this time and stuff like that. But right. it's a lot of fun. Yeah, cool. <laughs> okay, so I have one last question that we can close it out with. Okay. Um, well, usually I ask people about <laughs> advice that they would give to younger musicians, um, but but this time I'd rather ask, what is some bad advice that people have given you over the years? I'm not entirely sure. Um, I don't know if... I mean, I'm sure we've taken bad advice from people before, but I, I feel like... The, I mean, my parents told me not to quit my job, but I did, so... <laughs> so that's bad advice. That's so bad that's advice. terrible yeah, advice. They still love me and all. You know, right. They're, they're, they're. Can you imagine if they stopped loving you because of that? Like, Mike, we don't love you anymore. Sorry. We just, we just don't love you. Um, yeah. I, I don't know. I feel like maybe you forget the bad advice. Uh, all right. I could definitely give bad advice to a young man, I'm sure. Uh, so. On many levels? Yeah, yeah, absolutely.